All right, boys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Mo, and today I'm bringing you an absolute banger video for you guys today. This is going to be a high kill solo game with the MP5. So the MP5 actually got nerfed in the last update, which I'm pretty sure it reduced the damage range. So the MP5 class setup has changed a little bit uh, from what everybody was normally running. So this is more of an updated uh, class setup to let you guys know, you know, what the pros are running and what you guys should be running on your MP5 if you were to do so. So the class setup is going to be at the very end of the video. I don't really want to take away from this crazy intense solo game. Uh, the end zone was literally in the open. There was no cover at all. And I just basically had the clutch up with the MP5. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I only won this game because of the mp5 you're gonna see throughout the gameplay there is like three or four fights that i just literally shredded someone and they couldn't even compete by the way boys hope you enjoy the gameplay stick to the end for the class setup and let me know in the comments what is your favorite gun in warzone because i'm looking to try a bunch of new guns you know i've been trying to get the stoner uh you guys seen the 725 i've, I've been trying to get a bunch of different guns and i don't really know what i like so let me know in the comments what gun are you having the most fun with in warzone and also let me know in the comment section what guns that you want me to try next as always me mo smash the like on the video it helps with the youtube algorithm Make make my dream come true as being able to do this as my job in the future. Every little helps. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Love you. Peace. Wow, well, he really stole my Bertha. That's not very nice. Bro, making videos has actually been so much fun recently. That shit was good, bro. I haven't played like in a few days. Like, two of the three videos I uploaded were fucking gameplays from, like, a week ago on stream. Ah! And then yesterday hopped on for, like, two hours, got 75 gameplay and went off again. Oh, my God. It's actually great. That's what I should have done from the fucking beginning. 75 or not, bro. 75 actually is really, really good. The 75 actually is good. Like, I... I, I, uh, I picked it up in Rebirth. That's, you know. Yeah, I picked it up in Rebirth. That's the only reason I seen it was good. Everyone gets some fucking hype in the chopper band, man. Fair, fair freaking play, my guy. Low key, though, TKO's videos are actually good. Like, I know they're, I know, like, every video is the same, but, like. At the same time, bro, like, every YouTuber makes the same videos. I just seen him go in, go into the building. Lone Wolf calling Wolf Den. Over. UAV entering the AO. Don't you ever fucking dare think about even chilling me, bro? Like what? Fresh come. Is 75 any good, uh, 10% accuracy in Warzone? Well, if you put the sawed off barrel on it, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't even have to fucking aim with the sawed off barrel. It's stupid. Can't believe the 75 just two kill, two shot kills someone. I know, it's so stupid. I know. I, that's why I made a video. <laughs> that's why I made a video on it because I couldn't believe it as well. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Bro, when the fuck did this thing become good?" I always remember the 75 being the worst gun in the game, especially when, when it used to be floor leak. But, bro, whenever I uh, I died to it the other day, and someone just completely shit on me with it, and I was like, "Bro, let me try this gun out," and it was nasty. I said, like, "Yeah, I'm making a video on that gun." People need to know about this gun. 
Yeah, that is true. It's a super high risk, high reward weapon. That is true. Yeah, it is balanced to be fair. You need to basically borrow stuff with it too though, you know? Like, if you're even somewhat distant from your enemy, like it's not really gonna do anything. Want to play chicken? Yeah. <laughs> you want to play chicken, fella? See who can last longer. <laughs> Why is the season delayed? I don't know. They just randomly added 24 hours to the battle pass timer uh, sometime last night. That was so, that was actually a really cool gunfight, man. Me and that guy were having a fight. And, uh... I just called the cluster in on myself because <laughs> I knew I knew I knew he was gonna move first. I didn't know he, I I knew he didn't have the gones. There was a guy shooting over here. There he is. Can't even see. I literally can't even see. Shots. Wow. I actually went down right there. Damn, that's actually kind of crazy. I actually went down right there. 15 people. Whoa, you're right. 15 people in second zone. Oh my god, I'm going to get hacked on. Oh, you're right. Oh, shit. This guy is probably cheating, bro. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy is I completely forgot about... I completely forgot about hackers there for a second. I completely forgot about hackers there. Oh, good shots. This guy... I don't think cheating this guy is just... This guy's just pre in the window. That's the guy I thought was hacking. That's the guy who, uh... That's the guy who shot me across. I could have swear I seen a... Wait, did I not see a soap skin? Wait, I thought I was getting shot by a soap skin up top here. I guess not. I guess that was him. Yeah, this was the character who shredded me across my... What gun was it? Oh, it was a C-58. Oh, he probably wasn't even cheating, guys. He probably wasn't even cheating. He probably just has... I mean, he has a C-58, bro. So literally anything is possible with that busted-ass gun. Yeah, he probably isn't even cheating, bro. Like, a oh, worse one isn't dead, babe. Oh my god, that's got the fuck out of me. How's that? Let me take this. Next, if he had the 725 there, he, pro he probably would have killed me. May want to put on the 725 next game, brother. Thanks for the durable gas mask, though. Um, this guy's in season one. This guy's literally in season one. What the fuck? He has an, or he has an, <laughs> he has an origin and an M4 long range. This guy is literally in season one. Like this guy, I'm about to beam right here. That he's having loads of fun. That <laughs> he's having loads of fun. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. Oh, what about this guy right here? Bro, I literally can't even fucking see him, bro. I don't even know what I'm shooting at, bro. I don't even know what I'm shooting. I'm literally, sh I'm literally shooting at someone, and I can't even see them. Let's go with our balanced new cargo truck.
Big dick plays, big dick plays. Oh my god, it actually worked. I was expecting to die right there. Wait. Like, look at this zone. How, like, how are you supposed to play this skillfully? There's no way you can actually play this skillfully. I'm going to take the Bertha. Because that's the only source of cover I'm going to have. I see that guy over there. Okay, my MP5's out. Like, there's no other way I can play this. I basically just want to wait until they fight. Alright, so let's jump on and create the fastest killing, most reliable Cold War MP5 in Warzone. So this is the attachment that actually changed. Usually what people would run is the sound suppressor, but because of that effective damage range nerf, we're going to want the agency suppressor. This is going to give you sound suppression, vertical recoil control, muzzle velocity, as well as damage range. This is going to basically counteract the nerf that we just got and make this gun the absolute monster uh, that it was. The next attachment is the Tiger Team Spotlight Barrel. This is going to increase the movement speed and also give you increased aim walking movement speed. This is going to make those close range gunfights a lot more easier and it makes you a lot more agile and can outmaneuver enemies. If you're someone with super cracked movement, you're going to want this because this is going to basically, you're just going to be zipping around the map and you're going to be super cracked. So the next attachment is the Raider Stock. That's going to be aimed down sights, firing move speed. So when you're actually shooting your gun, you're going to, you're going to, you know, be more agile moving left and right it's also going to up that aim walk movement speed and it's also going to increase your sprint to fire speed which is actually really nice because obviously with an smg uh you're going to be you know close range engagement you're going to want to have your gun up as much as possible so if someone catches you off guard that sprint to fire speed increase is really going to help you uh stay on target now one thing about the raider stock is it actually hurts your hip fire accuracy so what I've gone ahead and done is I've actually put the bruiser grip on. Now you're going to get you're, nice. So as you have seen in the gameplay, there was a few kills in that where I just basically relied on hipfire. I think there was two kills in this uh, in that gameplay that I basically just flat out relied on the hipfire accuracy, and this bruiser grip is going to 100% basically let you do that. So the bruiser grip, movement speed, and hipfire accuracy. Do I need to say less? You're going to be cracked running around the map and you're going to be able to hip fire everybody. It's just, honestly, it's the best attachment for the MP5 uh, when, you, when you really look at it. And for the fifth and final attachment, the Stanag 50 round drum. The aim down sights decrease you get on this is going to be very minimal, uh, especially with all the attachments that we, we don't really have any attachments on the gun that really hurt the ADS speed. Maybe except this agency suppressor, but it's honestly not that bad. It's also So the 50 round drum is also going to make it so you can take down two, three enemies before you even have to reload. And because I mainly play solos and duos, I don't need any more than 50. So, yeah. So that being said, I i'm so happy that you made it to the end of the video or if you even if you just skipped to the end i hope that you guys give this class it up a try and yeah it's me most smash the like button on the video i really want your guys's feedback so let me know in the comments what gun i should use next that's it it's me mo peace